Here it is. Come on in. We're gonna have to open this thing up. What do we got here? It's a painting and a frame. It's a framed painting. What do you think of that? It's supposed to be a box in a box. Watch out for the wet spot. Wet spot. He's heard that before a couple times. Yeah. Like, Damn. All right. It's like lit. It's like Raiders of the Lost Ark. Tom, you put that too. There I'll you take go. Take this. Well, wow! <laughs> wow! Look at that! Look at that! Dude, that is so crazy, dude. It, it smells like California. <laughs> Dude. Oh wait, what's there? So secret message? Yeah. Getting lit by Seppi by Brad Dorfman, Vision Streetwear. <laughs> Ray getting lit by Seppi by Matt Hoffman, 17. Oh, and look, and there's Seppi's Factory 44 West. We are in Greenville with Matt Hoffman. Everyone was pretty hammered. Then we took a wonderful photo of each other. I said, hey, I, I want you to do a painting. And I sent him two pictures. I sent him the cheek to cheek and this one. And he goes, oh, I'll definitely do the velodrome painting. I was like, you can paint it whenever you want. Like, you know, take your time. It was either later that day or first thing in the morning. He, um, he started talking back and forth with text messages. And he said, hey, would it be cool if I do my own interpretation? I'm not going to paint your helmet. You're going to wear a Peter Pan hat. And he goes, I always thought of you as like Peter Pan trying to keep things funny. You're always like a kid. So I'm going to have you wearing a Peter Pan hat instead of a helmet. He was talking about like the smoke bomb and stuff. He was saying that Seppi always reminded him of Tinkerbell. And I was like, do you know that, that Seppi has a tattoo of Tinkerbell on his arm? And he's like, no. And I'm like... Did you know that Seppi is the one that lit the smoke bombs when I did this run? And he's like, no, that's that's kind of weird. So we were like freaking out at that. And then like, of course I like called Seppi and I was like telling him all this and he was he was tripping. So then Matt painted it. He posted it on Instagram or whatever. And then Seppi called me the next day and he goes, yo, I want to put a frame around this. Cause I think I could do something really cool. A few weeks went by and he started sending me pictures. And I was like, what are you doing? I was like, this is like, he's like, dude, I'm building a village room around the painting. And then the more I looked at it, I was like, dude, this thing is crazy. And then when I saw the final image of how it's like opened and, you know, I don't know that much about art, but I've got a pretty awesome art piece now. And we're going to hang this up.